Hey there, Tyler, Theater Design Company. Gonna do a uh, comparison here between the new Eero POE6 ceiling mount access point versus our what has been go to access point for about five years now, which was the Unify ceiling access point, then the AC Pro access point, and now the Unify 6 access point. And gonna basically do a real short pros and cons. Then I'll let you know about our setup on it. And then we'll do some speed test, which we'll start at the time stamp here. And then we'll do our take at the very end of that. So relatively short video. I think you'll be pretty shocked at the results, especially if you're a Ubiquiti fan. Um, we certainly were. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so we'll do a quick pros and cons between the Eero POE6 and the Ubiquiti Unify. Uh, in this case, the Unify 6, which is their newest one. Um, pros and cons on the Eero POE6. Uh, POE6, easy to install, so is the Ubiquiti. Um, standard screws, and what I mean by that is uh, it doesn't require any specialty small little number four screws like the Ubiquiti. Uh, center mounting, so you can mount it directly through a wire uh, that's in the center of the ceiling. So if you have a J box or a ceiling round box, it will mount right up into that no problem. Wire pass through, means you can pass the wire through the side of it if you want to wall mount it or mount it in a cabinet. Uh, a super pro is the simple packaging of the Eero POE6. So it is just cardboard. There's nothing else in there. You can just uh, recycle everything. Um, both have screws included. Cons on the uh, POE6, uh, no template, no commercial mounting. What I mean by that is I wouldn't mount these in a commercial environment with the risk of theft. It's super easy to spin off. Someone could take it without any questions. And then it's a bit bulky. Uh, Kind of measuring it, it's uh, about seven eighths of an inch taller, uh, so it's going to come down from the ceiling about seven eighths of an inch more. Okay, so a bit about how we're going to test these things. Um, basically, we have the current setup, which is an AC Pro in the ceiling um, location, and then we also have a Unify Six here, and we have a new POE Six from Eero here. So our current setup right now, um, literally as I, as I run this, is a Dream Machine going up to an Edge Switch PoE with Comcast 1000 Meg service and Cat6 wiring, um, RJ45 on each end off of an Edge Switch directly to the AC Pro. So what we've got there is the speed test coming up. We then took that unit down, put in the Unify 6, did our speed test again. Since we needed to have a the new Euro, we couldn't use the uh, controller from the Dream Machine to run the Euro. We decommissioned the Dream Machine system, put in the Euro Pro 6E as our router in place of the Dream Machine, ran that right up to our same edge switch, same Cat 6 wiring, same RJ45 ins, no changes, and put the PoE 6 in from Euro. So a pretty, pretty much a real world test, uh, all tested within a few hours of time in the day. Uh, and tested exactly at those same distances, which was 4 meters, 10 meters, and then we tried some out in like the 30 or 40 meter range, and we got large differences, um, and that could be for various variables. Uh, so here's what we came up with for our speed test, and I think you'll be shocked. Okay, so let's go over the final test results here. Uh, again, Xfinity speed test, 1,000 meg service, hardwired on our desktop, roughly 900 megs. Uh, what we're seeing on the uh, AC Pro at 4 meters, iPhone is our test device, no other internet service. We're getting 114.6 at 4 meters. At 10 meters, getting 86.1. So that's the AC Pro. Jumping into the Unify 6, and again, we have a Unify 6 Enterprise, so a little bit higher end unit, um, about the same exact cost as the uh, POE 6 Pro. And at four meters, take a look at that. Four meters, 384.5. At 10 meters, 371.8. So just dropping off a little bit. And then jumping into the Eero POE6, we're getting at four meters, 479.7. And at 10 meters, 468.7. So, so far, as far as speed goes, um, comparing two similar price devices, similar um, access point, similar looks as far as Unify 6 versus Eero uh, POE 6, we're getting 468.7. Uh, 
um, versus what I think I said 370. So I already closed out the page when I did these. Uh, but we're getting 100 megs faster um, with the Eero. Uh, the big benefit for a custom install like us and uh, the reason, well, basically, Eero and this uh, scenario wins in every case because it's got a much easier installer base. Uh, we can actually transfer the network to the homeowner, super simple. We can still use Eero Insights to see all of our customers, see if there's any issues. I know you can do that with Ubiquity. It's super hard to do. Uh, setup. The app on the Eero is super simple. The Unify app is basically useless. It doesn't work. Uh, and then on the cost base, you pretty much need either a cloud key or a dream machine plus a router. Uh, to get any of the ubiquity stuff to work correctly all the setup all the adopting uh, 20 firmware updates a year um, And then the biggest one for us. There is no ubiquity product. They don't have poe switches in stock and so on so not turning this into a bash fest, but uh, Eero knows what they're doing coming out with poe 6 for the custom installers and having the product for us They win hands down their speeds faster and as a final note we did a speed test literally a couple feet away from our Unify 6 um, in our shop. So say two feet away, we got roughly 520 uh, meg down. And then with our Pro 6E, which is the, we're using as a router from again, two or three feet away, we got 750 meg down. So only 150 loss drop over our hardwired connection. Uh, so it kind of tells you again, um, so anyway, love to hear your comments on this, what you think. But uh, as far as custom installer goes, and probably most homeowners, I would assume that the Eero PoE6 and the Eero system is by far the way to go. Um, that's certainly what we'll be specking in all of our jobs, except for the occasional commercial job where we'll put in, uh, you know, Ruckus, Ubiquity, uh, Cisco, and so on. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. Thanks a lot.